Welcome or welcome back to Lavender and Thyme Cakes. I'm Ikram and I post videos on cake decorating, recipes, and videos documenting my journey starting a profitable baking business in 2023. A few months ago, I decided to turn my passion into a full-time profitable business. So I've been baking for friends and family for a while and a year ago I completed a one-year baking and pastry arts diploma. Going into school, I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur and eventually own my own business. I honestly did not need to go to culinary school for that, but that's a story for another day. Today we're going to be talking about the steps that I've taken to launch my baking business in 2023. So I'm assuming going into it, you already have a business plan. Without a business plan, we know you're not serious. So if that's something you haven't done yet, I urge you to go ahead and do that. There are plenty of templates available that you can use. Um, but once that's done, this is where we are ready to actually launch. So you have your business plan and you're ready to launch your business. What are the steps that you need to take? Here are five steps that you need to take to launch a profitable baking business. We all know that branding is essential for business success, especially in this very competitive market. You want to create a unique identity to make you stand out from the rest. Strong brand identity can help build credibility, or so I've heard. I used Canva to create my logo, pick my brand colors, as well as create my business cards, thank you cards, as well as all the other cards that I thought would be necessary for the business. If the thought of creating a logo terrifies you, do not fret. There are um, websites out there, for example, like Fiverr, where you can hire a freelancer to create a, a logo for you. Once all my branding was finalized, I ordered my stickers, thank you cards, as well as business cards from Vistaprints. Not sponsored by them, it's just who I ended up using and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Once all the branding is done, it's time for the fun stuff. You can start recipe testing and creating a menu. So start with just a few items in the beginning as you don't want to overexert yourself and end up burning out really early in the process. In my case, I went with bento cakes and cupcakes with a couple of flavors to choose from. So here is a little snippet of some of the stuff that I created um, early on. So just remember, this is a preliminary menu and you can always add and adjust to this as you go further. You just want something to be able to launch with. Choose a recipe that you know you're good at, that you can maintain consistency, and then you can always offer additional items later on in your journey. Step three is packaging. So I ended up grabbing these clamshell, they're biodegradable hamburger boxes. And these I use for the bento cakes. I ended up getting some craft cupcake boxes, which I use for a number of uh, different items, and one of which being the latest of which is the treat boxes that I've just made for Father's Day. Step four, recipe costing. I find that a lot of new bakers skip this step, but it's very crucial because how would you know if you have any profits or losses in your business? For example, um, the Rice Krispie treats that I make, uh, they tend to cost a bit more in terms of ingredients, but they take very little time and, and little technique in order to produce. I'm able to produce a higher quantity of these, whereas, for example, with macarons, they tend to, they're not as relatively that expensive, but when you put in the amount of labor cost and the skill and technique that it takes, then you want to be pricing those a bit more, okay? So do not skip recipe costing. I know it's kind of boring, but you got to do it. Step five, marketing, okay? So now you have your logo, you've got your business cards, you know what your items are going to be. You need to now go ahead and create socials. Time for you to start telling people about what you have to offer. I wouldn't wait very long to do this. As soon as you have two to three items, I'd say even two items that you could sell, start marketing it right away, right from the start. Um, the way you wanna do this is with Instagram, so you can use Instagram, Facebook, as well as TikTok. 
these are the five steps that I've taken to start my business on the right track. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to follow my journey, stay tuned for more business diary videos on my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with more videos. Thank you all for watching and I'm wishing you all health, happiness and abundance. Till next time.